Morning people, welcome back. Um, well, Parliament's back in today. Uh, the shit shower have had enough of uh, shedding tears. Not that they did. So, there's not a lot of news. Um, obviously they haven't been sitting for a week, more or less. But uh, there are one or two things coming out now. Watch on, find out what they are. Morning people, welcome back to the, uh, the hell, the grumpy old bastard in the corner. So, how did your bank holiday go? <laughs> the one where we couldn't do nothing. Well, I was going to watch um, a rerun of the Goodwood Revival as that was on all weekend. But within the first 10 minutes... They started talking about safe spaces for women and that. Um, this is in the middle of a, a bloody race meeting. So I thought, fuck this, I'm off. <laughs> and I didn't watch it. Honestly. No. So, some of you may know there was another event. Uh, started yesterday. The missus actually set me up with a Facebook page. <laughs> well, it's only on one of my phones. And I've already had a fuck enough of it. <laughs> I just don't know how to use it. I can't see the point in it. But uh, I said I'll give it a week at which point I will either get thrown off by then or I will leave it because it's just not me. It's. I thought I'd give it a try. I've always been against it. And like I say, you can't give an opinion on something until you've tried it. Well, now I'm trying it and already I don't like it. Right, before we get in what little news there is, um, obviously the shit shower have been... Uh, having an extra break, shall we say, using all the excuses. Um, but before we get into that, um, don't forget the Independent Media Alliance. Um, links below. If you're all about protecting children and want to see the corruption that's involved in where they, how they haven't been doing it, then that's where you'll find it. So please go over, give it a watch, give it a sub, give it your backing. Um, it's something completely different, all backed up with facts. So then, let's get on to the shit shower, shall we? So they're back in store. <laughs> Yeah, well, this week, uh, apparently, it's been announced that Friday is going to be the, mean the mini-budget. Obviously, they don't want the backlash through the week, so they'll wait for it over the weekend. And that'll give them time to come up with some bullshit over it. But that's coming on Friday. Now, old Cabbage Patch Kid, Truss there, has said she was going to scrap the green tax or levy as they put it to me it's just a tax one of many that shouldn't be there now what they haven't said is they haven't actually scrapped it oh no all they've done is uh, suspended it not done away with it it's only suspended she forgot to mention that bit, didn't she? <laughs> now, there isn't a lot of news, obviously. As I said, um, the lazy bastards have been using Mrs Queen's passing to have an extended break and apparently shed tears. Well, maybe you should spread more tears for the country rather than one person. You know, the one that you're slowly destroying. 
and uh, it looks like the shelved online safety bill is going to be bought back apparently and this will probably be rushed through um, was it because of the test case against Bellend? I don't know but that was the first of its kind in British law and um, we've seen how that went so yeah that's going to be an interesting one to watch but you can guarantee the faceless cowards at YouTube are going to be creaming in their pants over this they're going to be jerking off over it because it will give them more powers of censorship <laughs> yeah that's coming back And they've also said they will keep matching the money that they're giving to the Ukraine into next year. <coughs> Why is this? Just so you can keep using it as a fucking excuse for the cost of living here? Because that's all you're doing it for. It's nothing to do with the Ukraine, the cost of living. Nothing whatsoever. But... If you believe reports, it looks like it should be over soon anyway because Russia is apparently crumbling. I don't believe that, but hey, that's what they're telling us, isn't it? Do we believe what they tell us? Nah, not a fucking chance. <coughs> you know, they'll, they'll keep throwing us a few crumbs while they continue to fill their own pockets and give millions and billions of our money away. Apparently 2.3 billion is uh, heading Ukraine's way again. And, oh yeah, we've got the new Met Police Chief. Oh dear. Th this is going to get good, people. Th this is going to be quite amusing. Uh, he said he's going to reform the Met. He's going to arrange that every burglary and menial assault, domestics, child abuse, whatever, the police will visit. Yeah, I can't see that happening. Can't see that happening anywhere at all, to be honest, at the moment. <coughs> the only way he's going to reform it is sack the fucking lot of them. <laughs> but what was revealed is how they quietly brought in um, the policy on how, you know, they were going to ignore burglaries, low-level assaults, as they call them. Well, no assault is low-level. An assault is an assault. End of. And they dropped all this in favour of policing hurty words online and arresting people for having an opinion. Well, there's my opinion. You're a bunch of wankers. You want to come and fucking arrest me? Yeah. Bring it on, assholes. Mm. Um, yeah, it, it looks like we need a police force to police the police. That's how bad they fucking got. That many of them are criminals in uniform. We see this time and time again. Everything from petty theft to murder. You know, these are all done by serving police officers. Yeah, you got a big reform job on your hand, you dick. But I don't think it will change anything, to be honest. I really don't. They'll, they'll continue the same. They might throw one or two under the bus, as they've been doing all along. And that'll be it. You know, this is what we're facing now. The government are doing sod all about it. Like, they're doing nothing about it in the channel. They, they're covering all that up now. They're not even giving out figures. Um, the fact is, I saw a report that they don't even know how many have come over. Yeah, come on, new Home Secretary. Get your ass in gear, or are you just going to be another sap 
following the narrative. But anyway, people, sorry it's uh, what is the time? Yeah, it's going to be a bit late today. Um, I was having a bit of a lay in, and of course, the schools are back, so we had all the noise over the road. One of the neighbours is having his drive ripped up, so there's been a digger down there scraping concrete. <laughs> but I've got my laundry to put out, so it it looks like it's going to be a nice day, and we'll see where the day goes. But until then, thank you for your support, guys. Um, the viewings are still going up. The subs are going up very slowly, one by one. It's growing. I don't beg for subs, but if you're watching and it's your first time in, you know, press the button. We'll see where we go. I don't say anybody has to watch or stay. It's entirely your personal choice. <coughs> but to those of you that have stayed and have subbed and watch, my respects to each and every one of you for that support. It's muchly appreciated, believe me. And I'm actually looking down there because I've got blood. My cat had a hissy fit earlier. Don't know quite what over, but hey. <laughs> but until the next time, people, as always, in this mad, weird world we're living in now, stay safe, stay strong, and stay absolutely free from the corruption. Respects, guys. <laughs>